I really look at artists that kind of have my similar process, which is kind of speaking to the automatic and reacting and action and reaction. I have a bachelor's in arts from Providence College, um, art history background as well. And then I received my master of fine arts from Stony Brook University. So I was affiliated through Patchogue Arts Council um, through the Master of Fine Arts program. Um, I met John Sino. He told me to apply to do the mural. I gave them my CV, biography, recent images of my artwork, including my thesis from my master's program, which was large scale, very vivid colors, similar to what I did here. I wanted it to kind of mimic waves. Um, I knew I wanted to be vivid colors and keeping those things in mind, it kind of changed as I went. But I always approach my artwork in a very automatic fashion, which means I go into it kind of sketching everything out loosely. And then my formal side takes over and I step back and I look at the composition and how things move. And I take those things into account. So it's kind of a mixture of automatic and formal. So I had many challenges, including the weather we had, which was a lot of rain. So unfortunately, um, the marks in marker washed away, so I had to redo that. Um, and just kind of, you know, the scale of the wall kind of changed my, my preliminary drawings a little bit. So I kind of worked and, you know, as I went, things changed. So my first day coming here to paint, I realized that until about 3 p.m., the sun is directly, you know, facing me and, and kind of in my way. So I kind of gauged myself and started coming later in the afternoon, about three and after, and then the sun went on the other side of the building. So it was exciting. A lot of people were curious as to how long it was gonna be up. A lot of people commented on the vivid colors. I think my art speaks to my personality and what I'm going through in life. So I, I always like to look at it in that. And it does change very subtly over the years, but I, I always have this style and movement and vivid colors always stay with me.